Okay. Um, okay. Brief moment of complete and utter honesty. This is the fourth take because I really can't find the words. Um, one of my best friends in the entire world, I've known him for almost a decade, is moving across the country tomorrow. That's where I'm headed right now. Actually, I'm helping him pack up the van so that he can get ready to go. And in all honesty, that feeling or this feeling of this being real um, is just now hitting, you know, as I'm literally headed to help him pack up. It, it's it's such a strange feeling when somebody's been in your life for so long. You know, I was always the one that went away, um, came back, and he was always there waiting for me. There was never any question about, you know, whether or not he would be there. And now that's just not going to be the case, you know. Uh, he's the one that's spreading, spreading his wings, so to speak, and, and heading out. And it's just such a strange feeling for me, you know. I'm, I'm very happy for him. I'm happy that he's doing what he feels called to do and led to do. And um, I know that the work he's going to be doing is going to be incredible. I know that God is going to bless it. But it's still such an odd feeling to kind of work through. Somebody that's been in your life for so long and, and you haven't really known life without in so many years. And they're just not going to be a phone call away anymore. They're not going to be right down the street. I, I'm sure most of you can relate. You know, people walk in and out of our lives all the time. But it, it feels a little bit different when it's somebody that's been there for so long somebody that's been with you through some really insane times to be honest and um, I don't know just not having that accessibility to a friend like that is is a different feeling <laughs> yeah, and if you and Randall ever want to visit, there's good hunting over there. <laughs> Which you want this against that? Alright, if I'm being totally honest, I didn't want to make this video. Um, it's why it took so long to do, it's why it's probably not anywhere close to perfect, but I didn't want to take this moment and the opportunity to say this. I think that in life we're given people for inspirations, and I think that a lot of the quality of our life can come by what we choose to do with those inspirations. So I wanted to take a moment to say, Jacob, aside from being my friend, you truly have been an inspiration to me. You've shown me so much in life and taught me so much about how I want to be, the kind of person I want to be, the things that I want to do. And I'm really, truly grateful to you for that. I know that whatever it is you do out there in the Midwest is going to be incredible. And that whatever you set your mind to, God is going to bless and he's going to use you in a big way. I'm so grateful to call you my friend. Thank you for being an inspiration to me. Thank you for always being there when I needed you. I wish you the best and I hope, or I should say I can't wait to see you again.